chewing gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And they'd like to mention the fact that their product, Wrigley Spearmint Gum, offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley Spearmint, whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley Spearmint Gum tastes good. It's refreshing. And the good, easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia. <laughs> has one thing the biggest cities has got that you know find in the smaller towns, that's the neighborhoods where hundreds and hundreds of people are living all together. Mamma mia, there's so many people who squeeze it together on my block, I think they should have called it Sardine Street. <laughs> but, uh, but being close together makes everything is so friendly. And interesting things is happening. For instance, this week I've been very much excited. Mr. and Mr. O'Reilly just to have a new little baby boy and they don't know what the name to give him. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. O'Reilly, he wants it to name after his father and the grandfather, and Mrs. O'Reilly wants it to name after her father and the grandfather. But I'm thinking they should wait until they have three more boys and then they divide up all of the names. <laughs> but anyway, little boy is going to get the christened this is Sunday, and the O'Reillys is to say anybody in the neighborhood who's a pick out a name is going to be God the Father. Mamma mia. Imagine me as a God the Father. Right away, I'm going to become a man with a family and a relatives. All O'Reilly's. <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm going to have to learn how to make a mulligan stew with a spaghetti and a meatballs. But this I'm very happy to do, just to be Godfather and to become a part of a family. At the least, I'm not going to be bothered to become a part of another family that... I... Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, what's a good name for a baby? Luigi, you ask him to write the man. I got the best name in the world for a baby. Got it all picked out for a long time. Oh, good. What is it? Luigi Junior. <laughs> no, Pasquale, is it not my baby? It better be. <laughs> I brought you to America. I set you up for the business. I lend you money. Any babies you have are my roses. I got it the Monopoly. <laughs> No, Pasquale, you don't understand. I'm a wanna be godfather. Luigi, you don't understand. I'm a wanna be a grandfather. <laughs> oh, come on, Luigi. Marry my Rosa. Say yes. Just once. No, what's the use of the talk of Pasquale? You know I can't marry Rosa. She's a too fat for me. <laughs> there it goes again. Too fat. Look, I've just been reading some very important scientific stuff for Luigi. You know, they say stout people live longer than anybody else. Oh, really? Oh, sure. They got a theory. Uh, it's called uh, survival of the fattest. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pasquale, come on. Please uh, help me out. The O'Reilly's, they're going to make a middle godfather if I'm the name of the baby. Uh, and that's another theory I got it from this magazine. Pasquale... I How's it come all of a sudden you, you read this so much? Oh, well, I had to go to the dentist for a clean, and while I was there, I took home a couple of magazines. <laughs> anyway, I figure out you desire to become a god papa is really in you unconscious because you want to be a papa. You mean I'm going to want to marry Rossi because I'm unconscious? <laughs> no, no, no. That's the way your mind works. Maybe I'd better explain to you. You see, every head has got a two parts inside. Oh. One is for when you're asleep, and one is for when you're awake. Oh. Now, in your real life, you use it only the bachelor part of your head. <laughs> but when you're asleep, you always say, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Then when I'm awake up, I say, 
No shot. No shot. No shot. Luigi, imagine being the pop of a little bambino that looks just like a rosa. But, well, it's hard to imagine a 250-pound baby. <laughs> Now, please, come on, Pasquale, help me with a name, huh? Uh, let me see now. You think it's a better Robin or a Mitch? Look, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care if you call him a stinky. <laughs> well, for that, Pasquale, I'm not going to talk to you no more. So goodbye, I'm going to my night school. They're, they're going to help me. Goodbye. <laughs> Looks like the only way I'm ever going to be a grandfather is to adopt a Luigi for a grandson. <laughs> Well, it's time the school shall open up. Everything is wonderful. All right, right class. Mm -hmm. Quiet, please. Oh, now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Horowitz? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? If I ain't a present, then who is? <laughs> smile, everybody. There's nothing like a good smile to delay the finance company another week. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz? That will be enough. Now, let's get on with our lesson. I asked you to review your grammar rules, and now we'll see how well you've studied. Mr. Horowitz, you may answer the first question. For you, Miss Spalding, Anna time. Fine. Now, correct this sentence. The bull and the cow is in the field. Certainly. The cow and the bull is in the field. <laughs> the cow and the bull is in the field? Sure. Ladies come first. <laughs> well, that's not the right answer. The bull and the cow is in the field. Mr. Schultz, what's wrong? Well, if they know each other well, nothing. Flash, <laughs> <laughs> you're not thinking. Uh, I, I hope you have not included me, Miss Spalding, because as usual, I am ready with the correct answer. Well, the cow can sit down. Now we're really going to hear some bull. <laughs> I come to school to learn not to make yokes and act like a foolish boor. <laughs> Education happens to be a serious matter with me, and I like to feel that I am grasping the torch of learning from the past and carrying its light on into the future. What a cheap way to save on electric bills. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, it might be well for you to take Mr. Olson's advice. Uh, before you give us the correct answer, Mr. Olson, let us hear from Mr. Basco. Huh? Uh, Mr. Basco, what is the correct answer? Patrick and my third, Michael Timothy. Uh, uh, Mr. Basco, I was talking about a bull and a cow. Yeah, Pat, Michael, or Tim is all right for a bull, but for a cow, there's nothing better than Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sorry, Miss Pauline, but, but I'm just trying to find a name for the baby. Mr. Basco, you're not even married. Oh, that's got nothing to do with it, Miss Pauline. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I better explain, Miss Pauline. You see, the O'Reilly's have asked the entire neighborhood to volunteer a name for the little boy. That's right. Uh, and the one who's to give it the best name, he's going to be the godfather by the christening of Sunday. Mamma mia, mo more than anything else, I would like to be the godfather. Well, that's all very nice, but, Mr. Basco, we must continue our grammar lesson. Now, correct the sentence. The bull and the cow is in the field. Bull and a cow is in a field. Oh. Bull and a cow, they in a field. <laughs> no. They, they was in a field? No. Went in a field? No, no. Bull and a cow, cow and a bull. And... Please, Miss Spalding, hang up and don't step on the grass sign so we can all go home, including the bull and the cow. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, keep quiet. Uh, Mr. Olson, you tell them. Yeah. The bull and the cow are in the field. Ach, what's the difference? Either way, steak still costs a dollar and a half a pound. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, repeat that sentence in its correct form. The bull and the cow are in the field. To Horowitz? The bull and the cow are in the field. Mr. Basco? How's the Aloysius? <laughs> Luigi, you sure made Miss Spalding get a little mad on you. Yeah, but all time, I'm only trying to pick out a good name. Yeah, yeah. Luigi, what, what is the difference what the boy's name? William Shakespeare once wrote, what's in a name? 
That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Maybe it don't make a difference to you, Olsen, but I would hate to have my boy called Rose O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, uh, yeah. how you all got a nice name for your children? Well, Luigi, I named my boy Stephen. He was named after his grandfather, Sam, whose real name is Schleimer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, 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 then you made it American, huh? No, and we, we, we did the same thing. We named our boy Oliver after my wife's father, Ole whose real name was Olafson. And Schultz, uh, what about the, you? You you also Americanize the you boys' name? Well, not exactly, Luigi. You see, uh, I got a girl, and we named her after the delicatessen business. What? <laughs> yeah, we named her Sal. That's short for salami. Smile, <laughs> 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 Luigi. I was only joking. Now, don't be so serious. One of us will come up with the best name. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to get the best name because... I'm a wanna be the godfather. You all have got a family, not to me, so goodbye. Luigi, where are you going? Aren't you joining us for coffee? No, I'm a gotta go home and think up for good and name, so so goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> Luigi really takes that name business very seriously. Yeah, after was only some baby could help out that little Wiener Schnitzel. Yeah. Oh, hold it. Huh? Wait. What's the matter, Olsen? I know just how we can make Luigi win and become the godfather. Huh? You do? Yeah, you... that's right. Oh, I have an idea. That's a Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> a Lulu? All right, all right. Let's hear that Lulu. Him and I could get seasick just saying that word. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, we, we tell everyone in the neighborhood not to show up at O'Reilly's house Saturday because a name has already been selected. Yeah, say that cuts out a lot of competition, yeah, too. But what about us? If we don't show up, Luigi and O'Reilly will know that something is up. Oh, that's it. We go along and keep everyone else out. But Olsen, what about our names? We get the worst names we can think of. The worst? Yeah, yeah, I, I already got mine picked out. This, Mark. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, uh, him, even the herrings are trying to live that one down. <laughs> Olsen, Olsen, for once in your life you did something smart. Yeah. Oh, I can hardly wait to pick out a dandy for myself. And I'll have one that'll kill them. But say, boys, huh? you think it's fair for the O'Reilly child that we shouldn't even try? Oh, don't worry. Luigi will come up with something great. Yeah, and besides, what difference does it make what they name him? In America, no matter what your name is, everybody goes all through life calling everybody else, Hey, you! <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, we'd like to suggest that a stick of Wrigley Spearmint gum is an ideal treat to enjoy after a meal. The lively, full-bodied, real spearmint flavor freshens your taste and sweetens your breath. And the pleasant chewing aids digestion. So whether you're eating at home or eating out, it's a good idea to have a package of delicious Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum handy. Chew a stick after every meal. It's good. It's good for you and it'll make mealtime more enjoyable. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, in another couple of days, the O'Reilly's, they're going to name the little bambino. And if I'm not going to get something fast, I'm not going to be the godfather. And that's going to be terrible. All day long, I'm thinking how would it sound, our lovely Italian names, if, if I'm Americanizing them. Angelina would be Angel. But Angel is not good because in America, everybody's the name of their cakes, Angel. <laughs> then I'm going to try other names all day, but, but nothing is happening. Hello, Luigi. Oh, Mr. Riley, come in. Well, uh, you got a name yet? No. No, not yet, but we're still hoping for a good one. Maybe you could come up with one, Luigi. We'd sure like to see you as the godfather. In fact, everybody in the neighborhood would. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Riley. You're very kind. How's, how's it, the little bambino? Huh? Oh, fine, fine. A real healthy American, Luigi. And our doctor should know. He's a very big pediatrician. Big what? Why, you know what a pediatrician is. 
Oh, sure, that's the fellow who's a fixer of the fish. No, no. No, that means he takes care of children. Oh, you mean he's a babysitter, huh? No. <laughs> no, but as a matter of fact, that's why I'm here, Luigi. Would you do the missus and me a big favor and sit with the baby tonight? I know it's an imposition. No, please, it's a privilege, Mr. O'Reilly. I'm not only sit with a baby, I'm going to play with it. I'm, I'm, I'm a lovely little baby. Oh, there's nothing like him. My wife and I plan to have a dozen. A dozen, eh? Shame on you, that's all, then? <laughs> well, I can see that we couldn't get anybody better to sit for us. We'll bring him here, Luigi. It'll be early. 6 p.m.? Fine. Uh, uh, Mr. O'Reilly, when, when you hear the right name for the boy, how are you going to know it's the right one? Well, I think the minute we see or hear it, we'll just say, that's it. We've tried so many, it'll just hit us. Well... What are you bringing the baby tonight, huh? You sure you don't mind? Mind is, you give me the greatest chance anybody in the neighborhood. All night long, I'm going to try out the names on a baby and let the him pick out the one he's like the best. <laughs> um... Mamma mia, you, you look so beautiful, a little O'Reilly, sleeping in my bed. Uh, Angela mia. Look at the way he's put his little thumb in his mouth. But that's no good for him. Maybe I'm just going to bend it down and pull out the thumb. <laughs> mamma, mamma, mamma mia. Mamma mia, I should have never pulled out the stopper. <laughs> Please, please, don't cry, little O'Reilly. No, don't cry. All right, I'm going to push you back at the cork there. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, that's a nice. How, how you like me, little baby, huh? This is you going to be God the Papa Luigi. <laughs> how you like that? I'm a proposed and he's accepted. <laughs> Listen, little O'Reilly. Hey, you gotta help me out now with the names I'm gonna pick out for you. I'm gonna try one. How you like, uh, Robert? I don't know. I said, uh, Robert. Yeah. Baby, don't give me any hints, just to say yes or no. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Please. No, please, please, please. Please stop it crying. Please stop it, huh? I'm, I'm in a minute to scare you. All right, I'm going to see you no care for Robert. Then uh, how's about, uh, how's about, uh, Oscar? <laughs> all right, all right, no Oscar, no Oscar, please. Please, baby, stop crying, please. Please stop. Hey, hey, Luigi, what's happening ahead? Hey, Pasquale, you're just in a time. I'm a baby sitting for the O'Reilly's, and, and maybe you can stop him crying, huh? Sure. Stop, baby. Stop. Calm down. Relapse. <laughs> Hello, little bambino. Look, it's a Pasquale. Hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Pasquale, he, he, he's like you. Look, look how he's smiling. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that's because I got the type of brain that's made for babies. When the, babies, when the babies see me, they coo, and when the birds see me, they sing. Ah, oh, Pasquale, is it not that about it? You got a real bird brain. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm saying it, it's a come out of different. <laughs> yeah, but look, look, Pasquale, oh, he, he's a nice baby, huh? Look, you don't have to tell me how nice the babies is, Luigi. You should have seen my Rosa when she was a baby. I once took a Rosa to a baby contest when she was only six months old. I held her up on the stage in my hands, and you know what prize I got? Sure. The waiter lifting a prize. <laughs> no. Smart, Alex. Go ahead and talk. You just are trying to hide the fact that deep down you would like to have a baby of your own. Well, I... I w I would like to. Look at this sweet little boy. <laughs> if only he was your own, what a fun you could have had with him. Look, baby. Hello. Hey, little baby. Hold the Pasquale as a thumb. Go ahead. Hey, no, no, Pasquale, that's not the sanitary. So what? How dirty can he get me? <laughs> that's the right. I said, hold the Pasquale as a finger. 
Go ahead, bite. <laughs> Baby's got enough to eat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I thought he's a had enough to eat. Somebody must have sharpened his gums. <laughs> help us, Scotty. Come on. Come on, help me pick out an emma for the boy, huh? No matter what I'm asking, he's gonna like it. Hey, baby, how you like the name of Peter? <laughs> Joe? <laughs> Ed? <laughs> Bill? <laughs> no, you, Sir Luigi, this kid ain't the snitch in the type. <laughs> hey, wait, I got a good name. Baby? <laughs> baby? How you like it, the name of Pasquale? Oh, my, 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 no, Pasquale, look, look at what you started. What, what am I going to do? I know, I know, Luigi. I'm going to call in a rosa to quiet him down. Just the thing to do To this a little baby, do you to say hello? Hello, baby. <laughs> oh, but sorry, but sorry, you made a mistake. You should have never had a shot of him with us all at the one time. <laughs> Those insults so we don't have to take. Come on, Rosa. All right, Papa. Goodbye, Luigi. <laughs> well, little baby, there's lots of excitement, huh? <laughs> Tell me, what, what do you think of a Russia, huh? <laughs> Mamma mia, you're learning a bad habit too quick. Well, little baby, you're ready. I'm, I'm a think that you had a hard night, and I'm not going to find out what the name you want, but, but I'm not going to stop you trying. Oh, that's a lie. But now, now's the time for you to go to sleep, huh? Mm-hmm. You've got to go to sleep like all the little babies. Mm-hmm. Look, look up there. Mm-hmm. See? That's the first star outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Come on, I'm, I'm going to tuck you right in there. Nice and tight. And look at that a beautiful star, huh? Starlight, star bright. First star I'm a see tonight. I'm a wish, I'm a may, I'm a wish, I'm a might. Have the wish, I'm a wish tonight. Mamma mia, I'm a wish I get the right name. <laughs> A lovely party. Mr. O'Reilly, a beautiful party. Well, does anybody care for another cup of coffee? No, but I could go for another schnapps. <laughs> right you are, Mr. Horowitz. Maybe it'll help you come up with a good name. Whether I get one or not, I would like to make a toast. Good health and good friends to the little fellow. More you couldn't ask for from a Horowitz to an O'Reilly. The greatest double play combination America ever saw. <laughs> Himmel, you left out Schultz on Sir Bays. Oh, and Olsen at home. <laughs> Olsen, we could always leave at home. Yeah. <laughs> Smile, Olsen, I was only kid. Yeah. yeah, well, how was about the names, Mr. O'Reilly? Well, I expected more people to show up. But I suppose Saturday night's a busy one. Uh, uh, good. Uh, then I-, I will start. Uh, my name for the boy is uh, Bismarck. What? Oh, you, you don't like it? No. Oh, gee, that's too bad. <laughs> well, uh, Horowitz, uh, that's your turn. My name for the boy is Montmorency. <laughs> Montmorency? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it because, uh, well, it flows. <laughs> Horowitz, open the door and let it flow out of the room. <laughs> well, here's my name. Breckenbridge. 
<laughs> Breckenbridge X? Yeah. What's the X for? But you see, I left for the baby a loophole. Until he learns to write his full name, he just writes the X. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, oh, I feel terrible then. Hey, Luigi, you've been so quiet. I bet you you got just the name, you lucky pop. Well, uh, I'm, 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 I'm been taking all the time, but... Uh, uh-huh. Uh, no, sure, I'm, I'm not that, uh, no name at all. What? Huh? I'm, I'm, I can't think of, I've won a name, I'm, I'm like a better than anything. <sighs> well, then, my wife and I think we'll use the name selected by a cousin of ours, Gregory. Gregory? Well, what a name, Gregory. But, Mr. O'Reilly, that's all right for Peck, but not for O'Reilly. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Besides, in all contests, you're not allowed to have people working for the company or relatives. Luigi, ain't you got a name? No, Harowitz, I'm working. Well, Gregory's not exactly what we wanted, but it's a good American name, and it'll have to do. Hold on, no, just a minute, just a minute. Oh, Mamma mia, why, why am I not thought of it all the time? I'm, I'm just the guy of the name. Yeah. I went to hear it. Here, I'm going to write it down. Good. Here. What, what do you think? Hey. Hey, Kathy. Kathy, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. That's the name for us. Please let me see it. <laughs> Luigi. Ah, oh, him. Only Luigi could think of it. Yo. Yeah, yo. Oh. Oh, and they go together. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Here, hold of this. Thanks. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Luigi. Luigi, let me hear you say it. You mean... You mean it's... Uh, it's uh, going to be the baby's name? Yes, and you're the godfather. Now, let's hear how it sounds. All right. The baby's name is going to be... America O'Reilly. <laughs> Mamma mia, is it not a beautiful name, America O'Reilly? How is it just to roll off of the tongue, America O'Reilly? And how is also roll off of the tongue, Luigi Vasco, Godfather? Oh, I feel so, so good, Mamma mia. And you know, funniest thing, Mamma mia, I'm picked out America because it's a perfect American name. And then I guess what? Irish boy O'Reilly is a got Italian name after all. Sure, that's right. America is a come from the world's greatest explorer. Sure. America is a Vespucci. You love the son, Luigi Vasco, little immigrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum gives you long-lasting enjoyment at very little cost. That lively, delicious spearmint flavor is really satisfying, and the smooth, good chewing adds fun to whatever you're doing. Helps keep your teeth bright and attractive, too. So do as millions of people do. Enjoy chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. You'll enjoy the flavor, you'll enjoy the chewing. Next time you go to the store, get a few packages of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at the same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mac Benoff. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>